Hello, it's Donna with Donna's Deals and DIYs, and I'm back with another devotional from Bridget Reads, Release 90 Days to Embrace God's Plan for Your Life. And we are on page 44. It's called Freedom in Forgiveness. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. But when you're praying, just forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against so that your Father in Heaven will forgive your sins too. Mark 11, 24 through 25. Forgiveness is not always an easy topic to cover in relation to embracing the plan God has for our lives. <clears throat> this journey of forgiveness can be challenging or untroubling, depending on what or who it is that you're facing with forgiving. Imagine for a moment, standing on the bank of a river. You need to get across to the other side, but there are no boats around. Now imagine you're walking up and down the bank of the river and you run into a man who has a boat and agrees to take you across the river to get to your destination. The boat represents forgiveness. The man represents Jesus. The river represents the issue that needs your forgiveness. God knows how difficult it can be for us to forgive, but he is able to journey with us through the process of forgiveness. If we don't forgive, this issue stands in our way of getting to where God is trying to take us. He is telling us that we must first forgive to get to the other side of the issue. If you're praying and believing God for something and you seem to not be getting an answer, think about any areas of unforgiveness <clears throat> that you need to address. Is there anyone who you are holding something against? Have you been trying to justify why you will never be able to forgive someone who hurt you deeply? I'm not saying you should welcome them back into your life or even have a relationship with them. Why not take this to God in prayer? Ask Him the best way to free your heart from the pain and then lean into Him as He carries you over the water. Prayer. God, I acknowledge my humanity in this moment, but most importantly, I acknowledge your power. I release every person I'm holding unforgiveness against and today I forgive all of them help me to fully forgive even if it takes more than one moment or one day in Jesus name amen this is so important in my life right now because <clears throat> there's things I've been going through that I can't discuss but <clears throat> on my channel um but they definitely involve me forgiving people who hurt me. Um, and it's been difficult and I've been prayed for. And um, it, sometimes it's a process. And um, you have to keep, keep telling your heart and keep speaking it and keep praying over it. Um, because there's, you know, more than one person involved. There's several. <clears throat> and I need to forgive them all. And some of them knew better, and those are the ones that are hard to forgive. The people that know you better and that they hurt you anyway, those are the ones that are so much harder to forgive. So, the people who don't know you well that hurt you, um, it's, you know, and there's so many consequences to people's behavior when they lie and when they, they just do things that are, are so crazy that it's just unimaginable things I've been going through are things that I could not even imagine in my head I don't even have the imagination to do to other people <clears throat> it's just deceptive and it's crazy and uh, you have to let it go so whatever you're going through today that you need forgiveness remember that you're not alone we're in this together and if you need prayer, please send me a text message uh, or an email message to platware at yahoo.com. Or you can leave a message uh, in the comments below and I will definitely pray for you. Um, and just remember uh, to watch again tomorrow because I'm going to have a, a devotional every day. Um, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And Remember that God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye.